Hi guys, welcome back to Star With Substance and welcome to today's video. I'm filming a 50 facts about me tag so that my new subscribers can get to know me and so that if you are an old subscriber um, or you've been here for a little while, uh, you get a bit of an update as to what I've been up to. I've also filmed this everyday hair and makeup look for you guys so that um, you can see how I achieve this look for a transitional day to night look in the winter period. So if you like the sound of that, one, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Otherwise, let's get right into it. So the reason I thought I would do this tag is because there's quite a few new subscribers on my channel um, since I last did one of these. And I thought, what a better opportunity to, um, you know, kind of get to know each other and um, yeah, also <laughs> remind myself <laughs> who the hell I am. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna turn the brightness of the screen down because it's throwing off the lighting a bit. That's better. <coughs> if anybody asks where my wig is from later in the video, it's from A-List Lace Hair. Um, I will link my Instagram where I will um, probably post a picture with this look uh, this makeup look that I create which is my everyday makeup look um, and you guys can find them tagged there so there's your motivation to come follow me on insta um, so um, the first question is name which is very appropriate because you are probably going to wonder where to find me on instagram so my name is nadreen and um it's at nadreen k on instagram so you can find me there my handle is pretty much just my first name and my last initial um but i'll have it up on the screen somewhere maybe um the next question is what is your zodiac sign um so i um <laughs> funny story I thought for the longest time that I was an Aries, um, but I'm actually smack bang in between Aries and the dates for Aries and Taurus. Um, but um, in most places, um, my zodiac sign is actually Taurus. So my birthday um, is on the 20th of April. Now comment down below if you guys are also if any of you are born on the 20th of April and you disagree um, and you think you are an Aries, um, let me know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But somewhere in between there. Which makes Taurus makes a lot more sense for me because some of the um, personality traits of the Aries um, I wouldn't necessarily say I really have, so I've never really identified with that. Um, I'm just carving out my brows with a, gosh, what is it, um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Bisque. Uh, so it's kind of going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm not, this is not a tutorial. Um, I am not demonstrating in any way, shape or form, but you could kind of call this my everyday makeup look. Um... So yeah, that is my zodiac sign. Um, I would say, what are some of the typical traits of the Taurus? Um, I don't know, really loyal. Um, some people say Taurus is stubborn, but I wouldn't... It depends who you ask with me. Um, some people are give easy, some people I don't so much. <laughs> um, so yeah, it all depends on, gosh, the day of the week. Um, what day of my cycle I'm on <laughs> um, but yeah I am a Taurus um, question number three nicknames um, my, I only really have one proper one which is Noddy which is just my name shortened um, the, there used to be a few that kind of spurred off from this so like uh, Nadrizzle Drizzle Dreezy and you know a few others but um generally noddy is the sort of most universally known for anyone who kind of uh, knows that i have a nickname so noddy um also my name is spelt 
Nodreen, but it's pronounced Nodreen, so Nodreen, um, as if, you know, that wasn't confusing enough. Um, three things I love. Oof. Okay, three things I love. Go. Uh, I'm going to say, sorry, foundation-wise, I am using um, Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Rich Cocoa and Hourglass Vanish in the shade Chestnut. Um, so yeah, uh, back to wherever I was. Um, three things I love. Eating, listening to music, and oh, I need to think of a really good third one. Dancing, can I say dancing? Is that cheating? Because I've already said music. I don't know, well, I'm gonna say that anyway. Um, I'm just gonna pat this onto my face with a beauty blender. Next question is three fears. Uh, pigeons, roller coasters, and dying young. Last song you listened to? I was listening to the Fighting Temptation soundtrack, which is like one of my favourite movie soundtracks of all time. Um, I cannot for the life of me remember what song it would have been, so forgive me on that. Um, okay, next question. Uh, ah, it would have been Rain Down. Rain Down. Well, the Fight and Temptation soundtrack. Uh, my high school GPA. So I'm in the UK, so we don't really have a high school here. So it would be, high school would be sixth form um, or college. And I got um, A, B, C because um, it's like grades, basically. Um, I got an A in French. <laughs> no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Um, an A in psychology, um, a B in French, no, A in psychology, a B in economics, and a C in French. Um, so yeah, those are my final subjects. Um, I also picked English literature at AS level, which is like the year before A level, so like your first year of high school, I guess you guys would call it in the US. And um, I think I got a B in that as well, so I didn't do too badly. Um, that was a very long time ago, actually. <laughs> I'm not showing my age now. Um, what you ate today? Today I have had um, cereal with almond milk, Jordan's Country Crisp, for those of you who are familiar, and a cup of tea. It's like nine o'clock on a Friday morning. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm not at work, it's because I don't start my new job until the 6th of January. Um, number of siblings, I have three siblings, two brothers and a sister, and I am the eldest of four. Um, which is always fun. <laughs> um, favourite vacation, ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I've just come back from Thailand, um, I'm going to plug my vlog series if you haven't seen it, um, and it was it was one of my favourites, but I would still say Vegas is up there as my best, best vacation, um, just because of all the things we crammed into like probably about four or five days, it was, it was lit. Um, the reason I started making YouTube videos is because I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and there weren't a lot at the time, um, this was back in 2014, there weren't a lot of um, people who were doing videos about um, kind of stuff that I wanted to see, so like um, videos about like adulting, like how to buy a house, um, how to land a a good job that kind of thing so I was like okay well let me just make some videos of my own and um, you know sort of share what I've learned and then it just all kind of started there really um, and now I have been doing it for about four years and still loving it um, so that's that uh, dream vacation all oh, 
now up until about two days ago it was the Maldives um, or Bora Bora uh, probably more Bora Bora than anything however um, I then came across a picture of a friend of mine in um, a place called Melindi in Kenya um, if I can be bothered I will put the picture like here on the screen somewhere sorry somebody's whatsapping me so let me mute that um, and um, yeah it kind of looked like amazing um, so that's where I'd like to go now <laughs> and if not there's Zanzibar so I feel like Africa um, as like a tropical holiday destination is something I'd like to do. Concealer wise I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande uh, and now I'm using a MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid in NW58 to contour my cheekbones um, and I kind of take a bit up onto my forehead as well just to make that a bit smaller. Next question is something I really want. Mm, my own house. <laughs> a house that I own. I want to buy a house. <laughs> um, failing that, a Chanel classic flap. Uh, failing that, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So, you know, she doesn't ask for much. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few things I want. There's a few things on my wish list, but God willing. 2020 is the year we check them all off. What do we say, folks? Um, that being said, if you're not subscribed, make my dreams come true and hit that red button. We <laughs> most appreciate it. Okay, so now we're all contoured. Um, what my significant <laughs> what my significant other likes most about me? Well, if you are an OG subscriber, update: I have a boyfriend. No. <laughs> Um, there's the teeth, sis. I think what he likes most about me is that I am, I think, just open minded um, and up for a good time. So, yeah, we really clicked because I think he's quite similar in that way. So, um, yeah. Meaning behind my channel name. Um, so, it's Style with Substance, this is the channel name. Uh, which it kind of speaks for itself. It's a little bit of style content, so lots of hauls, lots of um, styling videos, seasonal, um, trend, trend-driven hauls, etc. Because um, I am into fashion quite a bit. And then um, substance is like all well, the other stuff. So um, I do book. I, I, well, I used to do book reviews. Talk about my career in marketing. Um, I do like more sort of personal re uh, development, maybe like more topical chats um, uh, and just kind of give, I wouldn't, I don't want to say I give advice because, um, you know, I, that's, it's a dangerous territory to just get into. But um, yeah, I kind of tell my life story um, and if, you know, if people get good advice from that, then great. Um, so I'm currently using the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner in um, black, 003 black, um, to define my brows um, because I don't, I haven't found a brow product that gives me the definition that I like. I like my brows to really pop and stand out like HD style. So if you guys know of anything, let me know. I hear that the benefit... Um, is it the precision or the archery? I don't know what it's called, but they do some good, some good, um, good brow products. But if you guys can recommend anything for like a really defined sort of HD brow, sorry, I thought I could do something burning. Then let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, question number sixteen. My favorite movie. The best man, easy, easy, because Morris Chestnut. And if you don't know who Morris Chestnut is, exhibit A. Um, someone I miss. Oh, that's a good one. Probably like 
my siblings as a collective um i live with my sister but like i miss us as a collective like it's been a while since we like last hung out together so which is something that we um don't get to do as often as we used to now that um uh, my brothers sort of working are both working kind of full time pretty much um, but christmas is coming up so that will sort that out um someone i love <laughs> <laughs> someone I love myself I do love myself I know that's cheating um, but that could have been anybody um, so I'm gonna say myself just because um, I've really fallen in love with myself over the last year and a half so I'm gonna say good on me um, a book I could read over and over The Secret by Rhonda Byrne one of my favourite books, hands down. Um, I, I'm just going to take Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and Bake under my eyes. This is my everyday makeup look, so this is what I would do for work, going out, um, everything, basically. Um, the Secret by Wonder Burn is probably my favourite book of all time, just because reading it and implementing, you know, some of the practices within that, like, gratitude, uh, visualization, um, affirmations has really like changed my life and my outlook on life um, and it's made me a lot more aware of my thoughts and also some of the things that um, I allow into my space as far as my mind um, my environment um, and my social media so yeah it's made me a lot more of a positive thinker which is always good um, and I think I also have used it to manifest um, or to attract a lot of amazing things in my life so I feel like um, the whole concept is what helped me grow my channel because I talk about the law of attraction a lot. Um, that's also part of the substance. Um, but also, um, I think it's helped me to land amazing jobs um, and meet really um, cool, amazing people. So, yeah, if you've never read it before, it will be linked down below my amazon um recommended my book i have like a a book's recommendation so check that out do i have kids um no although currently my car is my baby <laughs> um uh how many hours of sleep did i get last night jeez <laughs> these questions are dragging me okay so i didn't really sleep last night um, so I couldn't sleep because I'd slept loads during the day. I'm currently off work or like not working until January. So I can just like sleep during the day, which is amazing. But I slept from, I went to bed at about 3am and then I woke up again at about 2pm the next day. So I didn't really feel the need to sleep last night. <laughs> Um, so I've just brushed off some of the excess Laura Mercier and I'm just going in with this Vital um, Pressed Powder in the shade PP09 um, and it is what I use as my bronzer. Um, next question is something I got in trouble for as a child. Um, in trouble for being forgetful or daydreaming. Mm, were the two things I could remember but probably most of all being forgetful especially around a particular age um, and that's that's kind of that's something I haven't been able to shake because um, I generally do have these kind of like mind blanks like especially if I like drink a lot on a night out I will um, forget parts of the night like I just black out 
mm, it's not a good thing i'm not you know it's not something i'm <laughs> proud of or anything but yeah forgetfulness i guess um three things that annoy me easily oh okay here's one um when you're on the train and it's cold outside and people open the window or anywhere when you're anywhere and it's cold outside and people open the window because they're too hot so there's that um other things that annoy me um people who can't drive um, untidiness things being untidy generally it's not me but if my environment or people I'm around are untidy mm, more so in like communal spaces that annoys me uh, the last movie I saw in the theatre or the cinema was Hustlers or Hustler movie the one with JLo I thought it was really good um, it got mixed reviews but nothing to do with me um, now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier, a Laura Mercier blush in blush nectarine. Um, the next question is something I miss from my childhood. Um, the whole thing. <laughs> my favourite song. Jeez, oh, that's a hard one. It's probably an Usher song, let's be honest. Um, but favourite song right now is DVSN 2D. Thank me later. Add that to your sexy time playlist. <laughs> Uh, my favourite band, uh, probably Jagged Edge, who I'm going to see um, at the O2 um, in May next year. My favourite animal would probably be, uh, somebody asked me this the other day, and I would say a giraffe, um, just because I think they're quite elegant um, and quite long limbs. <coughs> I would say that's that's quite like me to be honest. So a giraffe. Um, is that my favourite animal? Mm. If I went on a safari, it would either be that or a lion that I'd be most intrigued to see. But I'd say I'd say yeah, giraffes. They're quite quite peaceful, aren't they? My pets. I don't have any pets currently, um, but as a child, sorry, I've just gone into my Morphe. 35c palette and i've mixed um these three um sort of there's so like a gray and then like a charcoal black together just to like deepen my crease um yeah as a kid i had um or we had goldfish or just fish in general in a fish tank um but you know as you know longevity wise they don't really go the distance <laughs> especially when you don't feed them so yeah but that's it that's what I've had pet wise there was, I went through a phase where I was like oh, maybe I want a cat and then I realized that I like nice things and furniture and stuff so that that could never work really um one thing I've lied about oh lied about lied about lied about um do you want a really juicy answer to this question I once lied about how many people I've slept with. <laughs> um, and I don't know why, because my number's not like crazy, in my opinion, but, and you know, it's it's irrelevant at the end of, at, at, when you get to my age, it's irrelevant. Um, but that's just me being honest. Um, I don't even remember who it would have been to, but yeah. Um, Something that's currently worrying me. Oh, this is deep. This is really deep. I guess just settling in well to my new job and um, really making a good go at saving next year. I wouldn't say I'm worrying about it, but I'd just say like it's something that I'm really like really trying to make that work next year. Sorry, I really need to blend out this. It is eyeshadow. I'm looking like a raccoon right now. Um, an embarrassing moment. Oh, I don't know. I've I've peed myself a lot of times in my adult life, and one time I um, was visiting my cousin at uni and did it on the bed um, <laughs> after a night of way too much red wine. Um, so that would be that.
uh, note to self, you have a very weak bladder. Um, where I work, um, so I don't start my new job until January, but it will be in central London as a digital content manager. Um, I won't say the company, just, just for privacy purposes, so nobody needs to know that. Um, what my last text message says, uh, okay, text message, do, do, the ones I sent, the ones I've received, from an actual person, um, it would be my new manager, um, as of January, um, It says, hi Nadreen, see you in the new year and have a great Christmas. Um, so that, um, so I missed the Christmas party. I was going to go even though I don't start yet, but I wasn't feeling too well, so couldn't go. Um, three bad habits I have. Right, I'm going to do mascara now. Um, three bad habits I have. I wouldn't say I have bad habits. Some people will probably disagree. Um, I dribble in my sleep. Um, I fart a lot, and well, this was easy. <laughs> um, I say um a lot, so yeah, those would be my three bad habits. My future goals good, 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 good question to own at least to own my own property at least one. So, this is like short term, short ish term future, and to hit 100k on YouTube. So I've already said these, haven't I? And to be debt free. So, yeah, there's that. But currently, like the only debt I have is my car, really. Um, um, yeah, like the only significant debt. Um, so there's that. My favourite stores. Well, interestingly enough, this get ready with me that I'm filming is so that I can then go on and film a Zara haul. So I would say Zara is my favourite store, closely followed by H&M Online only, um, and then very closely followed by Primark probably. Let me know if you guys, which is your favourite out of the three, H&M, Zara or Primark if you're in the UK. Um, <clears throat> my favourite food, I always struggle with this one because I like a lot of food. Um, but I'm just going to go out there and say Chinese food. I do love Ugandan food though. No, Ugandan food. I'm, I'm going to be a bit patriotic on that one. Um, oh, the mascara I'm using is the Rimmel London Wonder Lux Volume. Um, and then what I did yesterday, <laughs> sleep a lot. Um, watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, yeah, I didn't do much of anything yesterday. <laughs> oh no, hang on. No, 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 no. I went to vote. I went to vote yesterday. Um, and the party that I voted for didn't win. Um, so, but it was still a good use of my time. And I think that everybody should exercise their right to vote um something i'm talented at oh talented i would say writing and i don't do it enough um i don't know about talented I, I sometimes i feel like it's a bit of a strong word and it's a bit of a pressure because whenever you say you're talented at something everyone's like okay well you should be like the best in your field or something um and, but I have written a book, um, it is available on Amazon and it's all about the law of attraction. Um, so yeah, writing I'd say. Um, my idea of a perfect date, um, it has to involve food, alcohol and an activity. So food, drinks and very likely going out dancing somewhere. Um, and and my ideal date would be somebody who enjoys food, enjoys drinking, and enjoys dancing, and is good at it. <laughs> so, yeah. My celebrity crush, well, Morris Chestnut, we've already said that. Um, so, 
there's that. Um, and then also probably Joe Thomas, the singer, because he has an amazing voice. He might actually be my favourite artist. Nobody asked me that, but I'm just going to put that out there. Um, something I'm good at. Okay, something I'm talented at, something I'm good at. Um, something I'm good at is doing my um, cleaning up, C cleaning, tidying. I would say it's something I'm very good at because it's something I really enjoy. As sad as that makes me sound. I love a good clean. Um, my favourite YouTube channels. At the moment, quite a variety actually. Um, as far as small YouTubers go, um, there's a new girl, um, no new channel that I've subscribed to called Oc uh, the girl is called Octavia B. Um, loving her channel at the moment just because it's kind of giving me really old school YouTube vibes. Um, channels I've been watching for a long time and like seeing them like kind of grow and do well, like the Glam Twins, Lydia Elise Minnan, Patricia Bright. Um, ah, also um, video influencers because they always give like a lot of good tips for building and growing your audience on YouTube. I was just watching their videos. Um, Matt Devella. Um, who else do I watch a lot of? Yeah, those will be the ones I've been watching recently. Um, something I would like to learn. Something I would like to relearn is French because I was really good at it in school and then I didn't practice it or didn't keep up enough and then I tried to like pick it up again like last year um and yeah I kind of fell off the wagon with that but French especially now that I'm loving like Afrobeats music favorite genre of music not that anyone asked um and a lot of the like up-and-coming artists or the ones that I really like speak a bit of French in their songs which is always nice um so yeah french that's what i'd like to learn again um best way to spend my day off Ooh. well i have been spending my days off sleeping but the best way is creating content for youtube <laughs> uh yeah creating content for youtube i'd say and the last one is your favourite cereal. That is so pants. Who's coming up with these questions? Uh, one second, let me get my lip products. Um, oh, I was just using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter to just highlight the tip of my nose. Um, so I also went to get some lashes. Um, these are just um, some I got from like a multi-pack of like Revlon lashes. Uh, they just look like that. Um, last question is your favourite cereal? Jordan's Country Crisp, the strawberry one. So it's like these little like cereal clusters and they've got like dried bits of strawberry in them. Um, I'd say that followed very closely by Oats, um, the Quaker Oats brand. And that is all 50 questions. Um... So yeah, I suppose it's for like my, you know, old time subscribers. That's a little update for you, a little juicy update. Um, and for anyone who's new, welcome. And I hope it kind of gives you a little bit of a insight into who I am. Uh, sorry, I'm not looking in the camera. I'm just trying to take old glue off my lashes. Um, uh, one thing they didn't ask was favourite colour and they repeated a few questions so I would say my favourite colour is black um, but for the black isn't a colour squad I would say of late I love seeing me in a hot pink um, decor wise you'll probably note that my favourite colours are grey and like a deep navy blue um, but yeah all in all I would say yeah, I'd probably say black or grey. Um, but I have been experimenting with colour. Um, sorry, I'm just really like, trying to get these 
fresh and ready. Um, so yeah, that's uh, 50 facts about me. Um, if you have any other questions or facts that you would like me to um, spill the tea on, do comment them down below. Um, if you are new and you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I post um, at least one video every week. Um, occasionally it's sort of been two while I've been off work. Um, and uh, I will probably be doing quite a few fashion hauls in the upcoming winter months just because I'm trying to switch out um, and get my winter wardrobe ready. Ugh, this glue is pants. Um, and yeah, or but if there's any type of content that you want to see, let me know. It's very likely that if there's something you want to see, I've got a video on it already. I've got over 400 videos on this channel, so I'm sure there's going to be something there for everybody. Okay, so I just clipped my hair back uh, and I'd washed it, conditioned it, um, blow dried, and straightened it this morning. So, ooh, lip gloss stick, it should be looking nice and glossy and shiny. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned, it's just a wig from A List Lace Hair. It's pretty new, that's kind of why it looks. It looks like pretty pretty darn good right now um not saying that it wouldn't normally but um after a while the lace just starts to get a bit tired in my experience um so yeah um i'm partial to a little side part but it's pretty flexible you can kind of part it down the middle if you prefer that look and of course it now like it needs training Definitely needs training because I haven't been wearing it that way. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I had the curly unit, which was the Brazilian Body Wave, but the one that they had in store when I went to get this one fitted um, was quite short, even though it was supposedly an 18 inch. Didn't look it. I think maybe it was just quite dry, so it had shrunk quite a bit. Um, but yeah, this is my everyday makeup and hair look just straight hair a bit of a bump at the ends um generally somewhat of a dramatic eye um but everything else quite toned down so this would be sort of my soft glam i suppose um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more um via the 50 facts about me tag please do make sure you subscribe for more videos um go and check out the zara haul that i filmed shortly after this but uploaded right before this um and give each of those videos a thumbs up if you enjoyed them um and then if you kind of want to see a bit more from me then you can come and follow me on instagram it is at Nadreen K. I've linked that down below along with my Twitter, Snapchat and um, Amazon book recommendations list. So everything will be linked down below that I've mentioned in this video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>